you with Lori Held Spillers. I am the host and producer of Our View with Lori Held Smithers. And this show plays on Sundays at 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday or Thursday morning at 4.30 a.m. Thursday at 8.30 p.m. and Saturday at 5.30 p.m. And I am so pleased today to have two fabulous guests. Connie Spate, welcome Connie. Thank you. And our driver, <laughs> who was Marty. Uh, Marty Jenkins, who worked as a crew member of this show like 15 years ago. And Marty introduced Connie and me because he was a driver for Community Partners in Caring. Community Partners in Caring. And I am 91 and Connie is 94. So this is a senior citizen show. <laughs> so welcome, Connie. Let's start by you telling us a little bit about your life. You were born in Monrovia? No, Covina. 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 So tell a little bit about your life and how you ended up in Santa Barbara. You were born in Covina, and I know you eloped at age 17. Yes, and when my husband and I were married, we had two children, and frequently on the weekend, we would drive to Santa Barbara with a picnic lunch, and we'd have our lunch at the child's estate, because there was nobody there then. It was a big empty building, and so we would just have our picnic lunch there and look at the ocean and enjoy everything about the beauty of Santa Barbara. That's how I kept coming back to Santa Barbara. Well, wonderful, because you have contributed so much to Santa Barbara with all of the various uh, groups that you have worked for. Uh, let's start with Transition House. And we will show some pictures and then you will tell us about how you started Transition House uh, along with your son Michael, is that correct? The two of you started Transition House? Well, he didn't exactly start it, but he helped. He helped you. He helped with a lot of the building and shelves and things like that that needed to be done, you know, he helped that way. Yeah. And uh, Marty, we welcome you too. And uh, next time we're going to talk about a group that you started, Showers of Blessing. Yes. So we will talk about that next time. And this time we're concentrating on Connie and all of your wonderful, wonderful volunteer work in Santa Barbara. So let's go back to Transition House, how that started. Well, I just would see people without a home, you know, being on the street and mothers with little children. And I found it very disconcerting and upsetting. Yes. And I said, there has to be a place that they can go, at night at least. So I was looking around and I saw this exceedingly ugly building. It was Metal Quonset Hut on Coda Street in Santa Barbara. And it seemed to be empty. So I said, maybe we can use that. Well, it couldn't be just me alone. That was a huge job. It was all these wonderful churches in Santa Barbara that helped, got together, and would bring food in every night for the people that were staying there. So it was the Methodists, the Baptists, the Catholic, Episcopalians, all of the churches came together and would pick a night to come in and provide dinner for the people that were staying at Transition House. How wonderful. Right, they were on their own during the day, but at least they had a safe place at night to come and sleep 